Let me guess. It started with society saying a woman is never good enough. They start by saying she's too short, too tall, too fat, too gaunt. Average boobs, straight hair, thick hair, too dark, too white, too yellow, thin lips, big booty, too young, too old, soft voice, loud voice, too ghetto. Society, society sees us women as objects of objectification. People say a woman should be as thin and beautiful as goddesses on a Cosmo magazine, a sculpted and muscular goddess in a Picasso painting. The ideal woman. People say swallow some cosmetics to make you become more acceptable, suck it in to look beautiful. Hit your body because this isn't what you should look like. Cut yourself off just to eat yourself up inside. It's okay to compete for the ideal look to look beautiful outside. This is not a Kardashian problem. This is a societal problem. Women are conditioned to be beautifully seen. Women are conditioned to view their bodies from which their worth can be seen. And then they are pressured from being a trendsetter, risk taker, fire starter, to being misjudged, misinterpreted, misrepresented. Make no mistake, women have the power to socially define their beauty ideals. Women have the power to redefine what beautiful is. Now don't get me wrong, there is absolutely nothing wrong in wanting to have a sculpted athletic body or wanting to be as majestic as Naomi Campbell or Lupita Iyongo or Ashley Graham. Hear it from me. You don't need Vogue to add you to the list of the top 100 most beautiful women in the world. So you can award yourself as beautiful because you truly are. Be your own beautiful. Own your sexy. We weren't all created to look the same because we all have our inner distinct beauty. Just do it for you. Beauty is like a dashing song. You have to sing to it in your own taste and dance to it in your own rhythm. So please be your own beautiful. We need to get this straight. Society needs to stop placing its life insurance in women's physical appearance. Society needs to quit packaging women as a commodity in the beauty box. I mean, think outside the box. We need to have a reformed description of what beauty really is. For she can be both beautiful and intelligent. Just as Maya Angelou would say she is a phenomenally phenomenal woman who can make right decisions. And let me tell you, I know great women who are exceptionally exceptional. But guess what? This world is like a TV screen. It expects us to tune in to look like who is on it. But we can choose to switch the lens back and idolize ourselves. So switch the lens back to you, for you are beautiful and intelligent. Remember, God doesn't make ugly inside or outside. So don't make out a beast in your beautiful.